Hey everybody, it's Chugger Conroy. Welcome back to more Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. Last time, we made a return to the Haunted Towers to go through the pinwheel gate, but it was stolen. You'll understand if you saw it. This time, we are headed back to the Haunted Towers once again in Graveyard Shift to go beyond the pinwheel gate and into the hollow tree where the Dark Moon piece just might be. Got it. All right, Luigi. Got those pinwheel veins with you? You mean got them, Luigi. See? Better grammar. Take this wrench and use it to attach the pinwheel veins back to the gate. Remember, lefty Lucy, righty tighty. <laughs> Now, once you open the gate, enter the hollow tree and look for a way up. I get the feeling the dark moon piece is somewhere near the top. Okay, I'll get I'll be comfortable monitoring your progress from here. You know, as usual. Anywho, good luck, kiddo. Got no one to blame but yourself for that rough landing, Luigi. I got no sympathy for you, because you made that landing perfectly the first try. Last time you had the excuse of the bucket being there. This time, no such excuse exists. You can see that there's a spider web inside of this hollowed out tree. We check it again, and there are now gold spiders in it. There just seems to be different ways of getting money from this tree each and every time that we come here. You see a pattern developing. Let's get this water. And which one of you is going to give me the spiky fruit that I need to destroy that plant and get in the door? Not you. Yes, you. But I'm not gonna. Well, no, 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 no. Okay. These guys are particularly unforgiving. If you get anywhere near them, they will do damage to you, and it's tough to avoid if they do actually get their attack off on you. So don't, don't mess with them. Just attack them from afar. Make sure that they are for sure down before you get anywhere near them, and you should be good. That'll open the door for us. But I don't want to move on just yet. I gotta water the plants because it's a very lucrative way of getting money. I don't really care about the environment all that much. I just want to get rich off of it. I'm sure that's where a lot of misguided corporate greed begins. <laughs> Let's get all this. And that's well over a hundred gold and we're not even in the front door yet. Huh. We're getting quite the reputation among the ghosts. I mean, a greenie is actually scared of us once. Also, the flower pots on top of the slammer's heads are amazing. Oh my god. They just they look so funny. Continuing the theme of slammers being the cute ones, you have the sound effect, now you have that. Get both of you, get so many gold bars. And you're not getting away that easy. You are green, so I thought you'd appreciate the humor. And that's all of them. Before we go onward, though, and take care of our objective, there's something that we can do in the West Tower now that the water is turned back on. You might remember that there was that room behind that invisible door that had some overgrown vines on it that we couldn't really do anything about. Should we go back in there? There is now one of those plants. It's blocking the way. We know how to deal with them, so let's turn on this flywheel, get the water a moving again. No hearts for us this time, but instead, we can somewhere around here, yes, use the dark light device. I guess we didn't need to turn the flywheel after all, it was just to get the hearts the first time, I thought we did. That'll then complete that, allowing us to come in here and see the water running which will dry out this plant, because you know water is known for doing that. I guess if it's like skin, I guess it could happen. Pop that into his mouth. And we can finally see what was in this chest this whole time. As you would guess, wowie, an emerald. Let's 
all we needed to go in here for. I'll meet you guys back in the main plaza. Hmm. Oh, I do it. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh. I did it. Ha. Funny story, that tool, a socket wrench. I've always had a bit of an awkward history with that tool because when I was a kid, I don't know whatever led me to believe this, I believed that tool was called a stoonch. Please do not go look up what a stoonch is because, wow, I lost a lot of my childhood innocence the day that I did. <laughs> We're in the hollow tree though, on the bright side. Or I guess on the dark side, but it doesn't sound as cheerful if I say it that way, now does it? have quite a lot of ways that we can go. Got a plant over that way. Got some spider webs that we can burn over that way and in front of us, but I think about the only way to go is up. Or not. The ghost didn't really like that idea all that much. But you know what? I bet you don't like this idea very much either, but you're gonna go through with it anyway, and because you're gonna go through with it, I am gonna be able to go through with my original idea. How do you like that? Let's go up. And then up again. Got these vines. We've been seeing these, I think, periodically throughout the uh, the haunted towers. Occasionally, they have stuff for you, but these don't because they're cheapskates. They're not very divine. Mm. That's really the best I got. Is there? Wait, can I get that from down here? No, I can't. Okay. But I can get knocked down once again. Uh, I'm a little bit scared that I can fall off of this. Oh, no, I can't. There's a wall back there. I didn't see the wall. Maybe it was inside of it again. So here we go. We have a spider web that we can burn down. We can get it over by one of these torches, set it ablaze, and we can see that we have a spider problem once again. Very typical of Haunted House of all shapes and sizes. But that ain't so typical. Hmm. Oh. Hello? Criminy! Where'd that creepy looking door come from? That's the only way up to the treetop. Give me just a sec here. Bingo! I found something in the Haunted Tower's records. There's a special key that opens the door, but it's hidden in the crypt. <laughs> I hope you're not scared of graveyards, Luigi. It's not like they're full of vengeful spirits or anything. <laughs> <laughs> the sigh. For a moment there, I was like, wait, Cha is the only thing you're gonna say in response to it, but no, he does. <laughs> It was said that in the development of this game that Luigi's personality and just his general mannerisms were based on Mr. Bean. And speaking of someone who grew up with Mr. Bean, you can totally see it just in his bumbling movements, in the way that he speaks, and just, well, everything that I just said. But it is just kind of interesting, though, because I, I liked that. I thought it was a very good fit for Luigi, and that was an interesting way to go about doing that. I'm going to burn all this down, and we're going to burn these gold spiders to death and melt them down into literal gold. That'll then allow us to access this bucket. Bucket access, yes. We can dip that in the water, fill that up which will allow us to come over this way and, of course, water the plant. With it being a well-hidden plant and a well-hidden bucket, you can bet there is going to be a gem in it for you. Already more than halfway there. We are just blazing right through this second mansion. Feels like only yesterday we got here, but in actuality, it was the day before yesterday. <laughs> Let's move into that spider web to open that, and hopefully this door won't turn into a killer when we try to knock on it. We are in the tree root. Truly a room that any house cannot be without. Don't think there's anything hidden around here, but it just it's one of those rooms that looks kinda empty, so you wanna check for stuff. At least I do. You what do you got? So this is the I guess 
core root they're talking about. They did say tree root, not tree roots. I'm reading way too into this. Let's yank on it again. Get another spider. Yank on it a third time. Get three gold spiders. If I can get them before they vanish. Nope, you are not getting away. You are not getting away. Get all those. And more unconvincing fungal look-alikes with yet another root behind it. So they were lying. This was not tree root. This was tree roots. Mm. I'm just correcting everyone's grammar this time around. We can get inside of the tree root that opens for us upon yanking a vine. And uh, yeah, didn't you know all trees have elevators built into them? We're in the old graveyard, exactly where we said we needed to go. So at least the tree is convenient in dropping us off where we need to be. And that gets us a third gem, the star. I'm not really sure how I collected it though. I thought I needed to yank on a vine or something like that. Maybe I just got lucky because it just seemingly materialized out of nothing. I knew it was here and I knew it was like right in that area, but I thought I had to do something for it rather than just suck in a random direction. <laughs> Whoopee, <laughs> there I go saying that again. Get this, please. I just realized I am plucking the flowers that people are leaving for the deceased by doing this in a graveyard. All in the name of treasure hunting. You. Were you the one that was buried there? Well, I just put you to rest as you should have been. I'm happy that you were able to find your place of rest and pay me for my services in doing so. A bit of a, I guess, mausoleum right here. Yeah, it's got a gold greenie in it, which, yes, barely got you, barely got you, barely got you. I actually thought you got away. That one can be a little bit tricky. Get the three, get three gold bars, and then even more money out of the trouble. Oh. Oh yeah. I like how in the vault it says that greenies traded their spectral mass bodies for ones made of molten gold. <laughs> Just think it's... I, I don't know. I, I, I can't find any justification for the enemy names, even when I go into the lore of it. It, it really just isn't very good. More boo hedges. Guess we can remember those as well. Can I get this vine? Yes, I can. Always want to check that. And nothing for our troubles. Great. Let's just go into the mausoleum. And get victory music for doing so. <laughs> Not exactly what you'd expect to hear in a mausoleum, but okay. I believe it's somewhere around here. I know that there's something invisible that we need to get somewhere in this place. Maybe it's past this wall. Yeah, looks like it. It's a painting of a toad. Well, uh, we're gonna ignore that because we don't wanna hear toad complaining at us and yelling and screaming and sounding like a general chicken. So, or a general so's chicken. I'm Bulooga. I used to be covered in blubber, but then I went on a diet. The ultimate diet. He now weighs zero pounds, zero ounces. He is less than his original birth weight. Get you. Ah, uh, this isn't as satisfying as the one. Oh, wait, whoa, whoa. I spoke too soon. That was cool. <laughs> For a moment there, I was thinking like, yeah, nothing's gonna top that last one that would look so painful, but no, that was great. Got some hearts out of a coffin. Best not to think too much about it and just take it and go. And then this moss that has lots of money behind it. Take that as well. And okay, we'll do it. I'm free! Wait, Luigi, what are you doing here? Oh, it doesn't matter! You're my hero! Uh, hey. I like how Luigi is even creeped out by the presence of a toad. Toad is afraid of Luigi's ringtone. Oh. Yellow. No sign of the special key. Those ghosts are really starting to ruffle my feather. Criminy! Is that one of my toad assistants? He seems so happy to hear from you. How did he get trapped inside that painting? I sent him to look after the place. No wonder it's such a mess. We'd better go get him back to the bunker. He might know the whereabouts of a special key we're looking for but I can't pixelate both of you out of there. Let me think. I know, lead him to the gardener's lab. There's a pixelator screen there. It's an old prototype, but it should do the trick. Once again, we are too fast for him and finding his inventions before they become useful. Toad is afraid of bats, which makes perfect sense why Egad would send him to look after this place. 
but we know how much confidence he had in him based on his tone. So if Toad is scared of something, he will not follow us through places. We can't really do anything with him, but if we get rid of everything in the area or just have it go away, Toad will follow us through a door and make adorable little squishy steps while he does. <laughs> It's been a while since we've had a boss fight of any kind. I give you possibly the most uncreatively named bosses of all. Their official name is the Three Sisters. I am not making that up in the slightest. You just want to dodge their attacks whenever they get close to you. Have some patience with it. And, oop, almost got hit there. Almost got impatient right when I was saying it. And, uh, yeah, you might recall that a while ago I said that I played through the entire game without ever knowing that you could press B to leap out of the way of attacks. This was the most frustrating boss fight I had played in years at that time. It was so annoying. Just the fact that I thought that my way of getting out of the way of the attacks was just letting the ghosts carry me around and I had no other way of dealing with it, or just stopping my attack altogether so that I could run out of the way. This is a fight where you need to know that technique. Even if you don't, they hit pretty hard. You can imagine how much damage I was taking. It was just such a frustrating experience. Also, you apparently really want to die. Thank you. Uh, oh, I got hit there. Oh man, I'm dead at 35 health. Uh, I'm willing to bet those crows give me health if I were to attack them, but I'll uh, I'll go one more round. Oh, hey, uh, thank you for randomly materializing, you heart, you. Even though you probably came out of Toad and I can't see it from behind the tombstone. <laughs> Toad is just like having an episode back there, wow. <laughs> Just look at him. Just look at him go. I have to look at the ghost, though, but you can look at him. <laughs> He's scared out of his wits. Give me that. Whoa, give me that. Almost. I could have actually probably finished her off right there had I gone for it. You're not going to get me that easy. Thank you. Got you. No. Thought I had it. I am not going to get a good damage rank here. If I can just attack the big one one more time, we'll be done. Speaking of which, you really want to go down. Or no, you won't. Thank you. Give me that heart. I'm going to have over 100 damage taken in this fight, aren't I? I think it's the first time I'm getting to attack you and you have the least amount of health, so that's kind of funny. Uh, at least the timing on that's pretty forgiving, though, because of the nature of how they attack you. Say that and then get hit. Give me the heart. Thank you. I think I could technically finish any of them. Oh, thank you, jeez. Finally finished one of you. Got a hundred, what? I'll take it, but I didn't think I was gonna get that much health back. I guess maybe they drop a full health recovery because they hit so hard. Ooh, baby. Get you. I was able to slide past her. That is how I played this entire fight before I knew about the dodging thing. If that was if I was coordinated. Well, with only one of them left, this isn't really going to be hard. We can just attack her straight off. Do all that damage, get our three gold bars for once, and that's that. Toad is still running around and banging his head on some stone. He's going to be like this through the whole phone call. As I live and breathe, those were the ghosts of the three sisters, their regular paranormal celebrities. Yep, the periscope was going bonkers for a minute there, but it's back to normal now. The sisters normally are normally very polite ghosts. It's disturbing to see them act so rude. Good job. He's running up the stairs. <laughs> He's like, I'm getting out of here while I still can. Oh. Look, buddy, I know that being second banana to EGAD is no pleasant show, but I am going to drag you back there by your cranium, whether you like it or not. <laughs> that was funny. He just saw the way open and took off up the stairs. <laughs> I knew working for EGAD was bad, but geez, this guy must have had it even worse than I did. He got turned into a painting. So let's go on this. And uh, yeah, the coffin is an elevator. I guess I can kind of believe that. They have those things to lift you down to go s six feet under. Huh? Oh, yahoo! Yo! 
<laughs> Character interactions. Well, we're in the sewer once again. And we had that secret room off to the side that I said we wanted to remember for a little bit later. Well, later is now, thanks to science. Find our secret room. Has eight red coins, something that has never ever happened in a Mario game before. You wanna find an efficient route, run through it so you can get them all in a continuous run before the time limit is up. And by doing so, you will net yourself a treasure chest. Like with any bonus room, you know what your reward is. Just a bunch of money. Maybe it'll soften the blow from all that damage that I took from the three sisters, but eh, again, it's nice. Toad seems so happy the fact that we got teleported to an alternate dimension so he didn't have to listen to us for a few seconds. Doesn't want us to ruin his fun and be like, Yahoo, ugh. Is there anything in here? Yes, there is, all that respawn. That wasn't bad, okay. Toad also has an irrational fear of water. We won't go in there. There's a lot of things that Toad won't go through, actually. He's scared of ghosts, he's scared of water, so just carry him over the water in the most painful and cumbersome way possible, and he seems to be happy. I mean, heck, he's even smiling during it. And then we can bring him to this monitor. Uh, no, Toad's right, thank you. Here you go. <laughs> Oh, yellow. Well done, my boy. See, that graveyard wasn't so bad, was it? Nice work capturing the three sisters and leading my toad assistant to safety. He just popped up out of, of, out, of, out, of, out of the screen over here. Now it's your turn, kiddo. We're all done here. I am very curious what rank I got. I don't think I've ever had a good, clean fight with the three sisters. I always take way more damage than I should. I guess I'm just not very good at that particular fight. It's always the mid bosses that I have trouble with, not the area bosses. It was like that in Scarescraper 2, even. 10 ghosts captured, 125 health lost. Whoopee, let's see. Stop. Oh, wow. Okay, uh, apparently I had a great run against the three sisters. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Wasn't expecting to see that. I thought it was going to be a double star. I didn't think I quite did so horrible that it was going to give me the single, but I'll gladly take keeping my streak going. I'm happy that we haven't had a single star yet. As, as long as it's not the worst possible rank, it's good. Doesn't give you a good reward for a lot of the ranks. I'm happy with anything other than the worst possible rank. Good work up there, Luigi. Though I really hoped we'd find that special key inside the crypt. On the bright side, you didn't come back totally empty-handed! Let's have a look at those ghosts. <laughs> I'm dumb. I'm getting scolded. You are scolding me for the one thing I didn't do, ignoring all the things that I did do, which we're gonna see go through the screen right now. Yeah, I don't think this was as any sort of light trip or anything like that. You gotta learn to appreciate Luigi's efforts. He tries really hard. Do note, tries. And also, that is a long way to the next level up. We're probably not gonna be seeing that for a little while, but we've gotten so many level ups in quick succession. As long as we have the ones that we currently have, I don't feel so <laughs> naked anymore. It's too bad we have to keep the three sisters down in the vault, but it's for their own safety. Once we restore the Dark Moon, maybe they'll be willing to join me for a steaming cup of ghost tea. <laughs> what? Why are you looking at me like that? Anywho, I feel bad for that toad fellow. Being trapped inside that painting can't have been fun. He seems to be having trouble remembering what happened. You know, for having such a big head, there really isn't much rattling around in there. <laughs> Anywho, this rescue wasn't a complete waste of time. He brought back a little snapshot taken by my special tri-dimensional security camera. Give me a couple minutes to unscramble the image. I'll give you more than a couple minutes. I'll give you 24 hours, possibly more. That's that. And with a run that the game swears to me was perfect, even though I know it totally wasn't, we're gonna call it here. Next time on Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. The toad you rescued in the crypt managed to bring me back, bring back a snapshot from my tri-dimensional security camera. Let's take a look at it. We're looking at the EGAD family photo album. See you guys then.